Scott Hadica, class of 1993. Sam Manley, 2020. Josh Taylor, 2003. Sammy in class of 2016. Chris Adams, class of 2000. Ryan Provo, class of 2005. Uh, Jake Helm, 1999. Matt Cole, 1991. Alex Grimes, 2007. Trevor Lapine, 1998. Yes. Jesse Cahill, class of 99. Grant Shriver, class of 2021. Thanks. Justin Heyer, 96. Levi Allen, 2021. John Simons, class of 2000. Nick Loomis, 2004. Ryan Royce, 2017. Gavin Morris, class of 2017. Robbie Burrow, class of 2018. Sweet T, UNC. Jeff Ballard, class of 96. Andrew Jones, class of 95. Lucas Venosha, class of 2021. Heath Mason, 2020. All right, Captain Courts here in Poultney, and we are ready for the men's uh, edition of this uh, charity benefit uh, game here this afternoon. It's uh, benefiting the uh, Child First organization in uh, Rutland, and uh, again, uh, an all-star edition here. We'll uh, catch the uh, public address announcer. That's uh, Debbie Nichols here. We talked with uh, earlier. Debbie's going to introduce everybody here, each team on the floor.
right, a special thank you to the uh, folks uh, helping out here today, the uh, officials, and uh, they are Mark Colomb, Eric May, Joe DeBonis, officiating. All right, the uh, playing of our national anthem, and again, our, the uh, scorekeeper, clock keeper, I should say, is Mr. Steve Morrow. Uh, they thank Tim, too, for his uh, service uh, here today. Steve, well-known figure in uh, all sports here in Vermont. As part of this uh, today as well. Just right here in front of me there. The Pulteney boys out there uh, first. Heath Mason uh, looks like uh, we'll be jumping it up here at center circle. Heath is uh, class of 2020. So four years ago graduated. Had a great uh, career here at uh, Pulteney High School. His sister Leanna Mason, a thousand point scorer, played in the uh, earlier game. All right, so we'll have the opening tip-off coming up here in just a moment, and we'll be underway with game number two. Fairhaven and Pulteney alumni playing each other here on Catman Court. a big bucket right there. That is uh, Heath Mason lighting it up for our first basket of the ball game. That'll be a three-pointer here. So Pulteney up on top leading in this alumni uh, basketball game today at Capman Court. You'll see a pretty good level of basketball here. Keith, uh, or Heath, there's a shot uh, put up. And hit uh, by Fairhaven's Jesse Kyhill. Jesse has a couple of sons uh, that are playing uh, right now for uh, Fairhaven, current Fairhaven High School team. They had an outstanding year, the Fairhaven uh, Varsity boys. Doing very well in the postseason. Ryan Manaville taking that shot for Fairhaven. All right, Poultney going to get a bucket there. Is the uh, shooter? Let me get his number here in just a second. Falling to the floor, and that would be look like number 24 would be Nick Loomis for Poultney, class of 2004. We'll give him credit for that basket. Fairhaven working it inside. James Dunleavy. Remember James uh, from that uh, state championship team, class of 2002. Very good uh, basketball team. I believe Ryan Manaville was on that uh, very same team as well. But kind of fun to see all these guys coming back together for this charity event. We have a timeout 5 3 is our score. Actually not a timeout, but just a little quick break there to give everybody a chance to substitute in and out of the ball game. Fuck! 
Chris, stay high. Josh, get out. There you go, Josh Taylor for Fairhaven taking that shot. Josh, class of 2003. We'll miss that one off the rim. All right, there is a Pulteney Blue Devil bucket. That's going to be a three-point basket. We'll get that shooter's name here in just a second. John Simons that made the last Pulteney basket. Blue Devils coming down the floor with it. Whole bunch of traffic down there. They try to get a shot off and this will be a shooting situation. Folks might remember Levi Allen playing uh, basketball here. Levi, excellent football player. Remember him from the football team. Graduated a couple of years ago. Class of 2021. So he's just uh, not too far removed from uh, high school here at uh, Pulteney but had an excellent uh, Football career. And of course, basketball as well. John Simon's going to let one go the other end of the floor. Does a nice job on that. Still got the touch after graduating 24 years ago. And pops that one in. Pulteney leading by a score of 11-3. Ball brought down top of the circle here. Scotty Hadaka for Fairhaven. Uh, got tipped and loose. Simon's coming up with it. Here come the Slaters at their end of the floor. Or uh, Blue Devils, I should say. That's Levi Allen for Pulteney. We have a timeout here on the floor. Got about 2.16 left to go here. First quarter, the Pulteney All-Stars leading the Fairhaven All-Stars 11-5 in this alumni matchup. We are at Catman Court in Pulteney. A good crowd here on hand for the uh, earlier game, the women's game, and then uh, the men's uh, 
addition to this happening right now. It's still a good crowd on hand. Debbie Nichols very happy with the turnout uh, here today. All again, once again, uh, to benefit a uh, charity event uh, here today. All right, timeout just about over with. We're ready to go after the timeout, and Pulteney will bring it down the floor. Breakaway layup attempt there. That's Jesse Cahill going to the basket. Jesse got fouled. He'll be on the line. He'll shoot a couple. Blue Devils hitting a three-pointer there, end of the floor. Last Pulteney shot put up by Taylor Dunlop, class of 2019. That's Taylor with the ball right now, bringing it down the floor. Just hit that last three. Here's Heath Mason for three. And that, well, that just went in off the glass there. I don't know if I had that on camera there, but uh, Heath uh, showing that he's a dead-eye shot. He's still playing, actually. I believe he plays for the uh, Bennington Martins, his dad told me. So he's still very active in basketball. Shot under the Fairhaven basket, James Dunleavy. James had an outstanding career under Coach Prenovost at uh, Fairhaven back in the day. Remember watching James in the uh, state championship game up there against, who was it, uh, Burn Burton, I believe, way back many years ago. I think I remember James dunking the basketball. I'm not sure he could do that anymore, but maybe, who knows. And a big Fairhaven three-point bucket just hit there moments ago. And that is going to end our quarter. So 17 to 10. Things are staying uh, pretty close uh, here. I think that last Fairhaven, that was Sam Eaton, I think, that hit that last uh, three. Just try to get all these guys uh, mentioned here. It's kind of fun to see them all come back here. As we said, Coach uh, Matthew Cole, class of 1991. Uh, Sean Manneville going back to 1999. One of the great uh, basketball teams at Fairhaven High School. Jake Helm, 2000, no, 1999 as well. Josh Taylor, 2003. Sam Stanner, 2007. Alex Grimes, 2007. James Dunleavy, 2002. Trevor Lapine, class of 1998. Ryan Provo, class of 2005. Luke Vadness, class of 2001, listed on the roster. Sam Eaton, class of 2016. Ryan Manneville, 2001. Scotty Haddock, 1993. Chris Adams, 2000. Jesse Cahill, 1999. So a lot of uh, players uh, coming back for this uh, charity basketball game here today. Baltimore going to inbound it as we're underway. Second quarter action. John Simon's going to pop a shot there from top of the free throw line. Misses. We're at the free throw line, top of the circle. And nice looking shot there by Ryan Provo. Class of 2005 for Fairhaven hitting that bucket.
right, Grant Schreiber, nice drive to the basket right there. Showing some good form, class of 2021. Just hits that bucket. Well, a shot attempt a little bit wide uh, left of the basket there by Sam Eaton. Like Ryan Manneville going to inbound the ball here for Fairhaven. They go right back to Ryan. Ryan with a nice left-handed shot, nice left-handed touch, puts that shot up, misses. And Pulteney's Grant Schreiber again going right to the basket for the two. All right, a whole bunch of new substitutions coming in. Keep everybody fresh. These guys doing a pretty good job running the court here today for this uh, charity event. Child First Organization is the beneficiary of this game for the ladies and the men's uh, games. And as you see, a good crowd here in support of this today. Free throw uh, top of the circle. That's Chris Adams for Fairhaven puts that up. Chris Adams, class of 2000. Rebounded underneath there by James Dunleavy. James a year behind him, 2002 for Fairhaven. Fairhaven keeps it. It was an out of bounds there. Well, there's one from downtown. Fairhaven basket by Ryan Provo. Just hit that. Foul action on that play. They work it into Scotty Hadika underneath, and Scotty get fouled. He'll be on the line to shoot. Scotty Hadika, 1993. Which would be 30, what, 31 years ago, graduated from Fairhaven. Misses the free throw. And they probably made a few back in 91, I'm sure. All right, rebound there. Chris Adams for Fairhaven. Jesse Cahill will get it back on top of the circle. All right, Fairhaven, couple of good looks at it there. They will give it up to Pulteney now on the rebound. Dunleavy trying to feed it inside there. Nice pass to Chris Adams. Chris not able to get the two. You didn't get picked up no. on the team? No. All right, all new players coming in. That's what we do in an alumni game, I guess. Give everybody a couple minutes and then they can... <laughs> Sit down and take a little breather here. So all new players are coming in here. Give everybody a chance to get out there. About five minutes left to go here in the half. There's a Pulteney shot put up. Good attempt there by Taylor Dunlop. Taylor going to miss that one. Slater's with a rebound. All right, 
We'll get a shot hit uh, at the other end of the floor. Three minutes left to go here in this half. 21-19, a tight ball game in this alumni matchup. At Capman Court, Pulteney and Fairhaven. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was a good-looking shot right there. And Provo. Nice shot hit. That's uh, Ryan Provo again, it looks like. Ryan calling for a substitution to come in, getting a little breather on the bench. Levi Allen, top of the Pulteney circle. Going to miss that shot. Levi, class of 2021. There's Heath Mason. Trying to get that one to go. Misses that shot. Up and down the floor. These guys are running the floor pretty good. Josh Taylor for Fairhaven. Now to Sam Eaton. Keith Mason, corner shot, he misses. Lucas Van Norstrand got the rebound. He put it back up, he misses. And let's see if we keep it in play here. The other end of the floor, it'll be out of bounds with exactly a minute left to go here in the half. Fairhaven taking the lead for the first time, 24-21 in this charity event, charity all-star event uh, here today. And a good attempt there by Alex Grimes. Going to miss that shot for Fairhaven.
All right, so we've seen the end of uh, one half. Pulteney will get off the uh, last shot of the half. Pulteney All-Stars last shot, Taylor Dunlap. Clap of uh, 2019 took that one. And again, a good crowd. Let me show you the clock here. As we said, it's let you see the score here. 24-21 is our score at the end of uh, one half. So both teams taking a little much-deserved halftime break here in this uh, charity event. Slaters and the Blue Devils at uh, Pulteney here. All for the uh, Child First organization of Rutland. And it's halftime, second half coming up. All right, halftime just about over with here at Catman Court in Pulteney, Vermont. And here are the Pulteney alumni basketball players you are looking at uh, right here, just to our left in front of us. We'll give you a shot of the Fairhaven guys. There they are coming out. All to benefit the Child First organization here tonight. A lot of the uh, players that folks would remember over the years. And they go back uh, 30 years, some of these guys here for each of these individual schools. Came back especially for this uh, event here today. Deb Nichols' uh, organization, or she is with the organization Child First ad Advocacy uh, Program. All right, we're underway. There is a John Simon shot. John wasting no time showing us. Well, he was one of the big stars of the year 2000 here at Pulteney, class of 2000. Do remember that team? I believe it was a championship team. Eric Travers on that team. Coach Capman just uh, talking about that uh, great team he had back, uh, which will be 24 years ago now. And the ball going out of bounds. Ryan Manneville chasing that one out of bounds. A lot of people of sure would be, uh, remember uh, Ryan, and he was part of a state championship team. As well, Ryan, class of 2001. James Dunleavy back on that, uh, those teams back in that period of time. James graduated in 2002. James is here today for this game. And there's one from the top of the circle. Pulled the end, and that is going to be three on that. Taylor Dunlop for uh, Pulteney hitting that basket. And Scotty Hadaka, there they are, giving him the big cheer, hitting that bucket. Class of 1993. We told you some of them go back 30 years. Scotty's one of them from 93. <laughs> kind of fun to be a part of this. A lot of... Uh, a lot of laughs in a, a game like this and a day like this. Ryan Manneville putting up that shot from the uh, right corner, that left-handed shot. Ryan, one of the great shooters for Fairhaven back in the early 2000s. Misses that one out of bounds. Fairhaven will keep it. They'll be inbounding. There's a Ryan Manneville shot top of the uh, circle. That would have been a three-pointer. Comes off the rim, no good. Rebound, Jeff Ballard for Pulteney. And Pulteney has got a shooter out there. That's Taylor Dunlop. Taylor just hit another one for three, 29-26. Actually a pretty close ball game here. Imagine things will warm up a little bit in the fourth quarter for sure. You got a close game like this. Can't help but be competitive here, even though it's all for fun. It's Jesse Kyhill driving into the paint. Dishes it off. Looked like uh, Matt Cole got fouled there. Fairhaven keeps it. Won't be, won't be any shots taken. All right, so ball inbounded by the Slaters. Haven shot, Sam Eaton missing that shot. Pulled the end of the floor, under pressure, Robbie Brill. Got defenders all over him, Robbie able to hit that bucket. Remember Robbie playing here for Pulteney back uh, class of 2018. 
One of the uh, memorable uh, years for Pulteney in basketball. Robbie, one of the uh, guards on that team. Good try anyway. Jesse Kai Hill there on a reverse layup try <laughs> underneath. 31 26. Here's a Pulteney sideline shot. <laughs> well, Ryan Manneville showing that patented shot right there. Going to make it a two-point ball game with the Ryan Manneville bucket. 31-29, our score. Looks like we got a – I want to. I keep wanting to say timeout. This isn't played as a, a traditional game. They're 10-minute quarters. It's running time on the clock. There is no scorekeeper here. You just kind of sub yourself in. If you're tired, you sub yourself out. and They just replaced a whole bunch of players. So all about fun here today and benefiting the Child First organization. a good looking play underneath the uh, Fairhaven basket good job there by Ryan Provo hit that bucket Ryan class of 2005 Fairhaven High School a little short shot there by the Blue Devils gonna be rebounded here by Fairhaven there is left corner shot put up that's all on that on that one somebody still got the touch there is that Provo again I think it is Actually, it was Alex Grimes that made that last Fairhaven shot. So Alex showing his good shooting touch. Well, Fairhaven doing a good job <laughs> moving that around. Give them a little time. These guys will be pretty good here. They're both uh, excellent teams. Heath Mason right there for the rebound. Heath did that so many times as a high school player. Getting in there, cleaning things up, and did it right there as he goes with the rebound off the glass, back up for the two. Brings it to a one-point ball game. Fairhaven 34, Pulteney 33. Two minutes left to go, thereabouts, in the uh, third quarter.
Well, Fairhaven working it right around inside to Alex Grimes. Alex doing a good job underneath off the glass for the two. Back to a three point Fairhaven lead, 36-33. Good teamwork. Right there, Nick Loomis. Nick uh, hit that last shot, but a good assist attempt uh, right there. Just not going to get the two to drop in there that time. Lucas Van Norstrand took the shot, but Nick doing a good job with it. There's a Fairhaven shot. Josh Taylor going to be a little wide left of the basket. That one going out of bounds. We're under a minute left to go here in the third quarter. Chris Adams missing a good look underneath the basket. A little frustrated with himself there. He got a good pass underneath. And Pulteney trying to put a fast break together and out of bounds with no time. There it is, zero on the clock. So that will end uh, three quarters. You see the Pulteney guys coming together there. Under coach Justin Heyer, our officials there, we want to Thank them for uh, helping out here today. Mark Colombia, referee. Eric May, uh, one of the uh, referees. There's uh, Eric right there and Mark in front of us. And uh, Joe DeBonis, also the uh, third referee of today's uh, basketball game. So we are at the end of uh, three quarters. I mentioned the entire Fairhaven squad. Let me run down the uh, Pulteney boys again. They're under a coach, Justin Heyer. Justin playing today. Justin's uh, part of the class of 1996. And actually, Justin, the current varsity uh, boys uh, coach here at Pulteney and he'll be back again for another year just got done talking with him so Justin doing a great job heading up that uh, Pulteney team had a nice season this year Robbie Brill class of 2018 Levi Allen class of 2021 Levi a lot of fun to watch on uh, the basketball court and the football field as well and uh, Ryan Royce Ryan graduated in 2017 here from Pulteney John Simons Part of that uh, great 2000 uh, team there that uh, I believe won the state championship. Trying to find that banner up here on the wall. I know it's up here so, somewhere, but I'll tell you what, there are so many <laughs> so many banners on the wall here at Pulteney. Let me give you a little idea of that. There's one corner of the uh, gymnasium. You swing that around over here, and you see this whole wall full. Those are your 1,000-point scorers up there. And then on this near wall right here, you have a whole bunch more, and then uh, the ones behind me I can't show you because uh, my camera won't turn that way, but there you go. We have the, uh, well, normally halftime 50-50, uh, and that, or actually uh, the uh, half-court shot, so they're doing that uh, right now. Let me continue with the uh, roster here. I said John Simons, class of 2000. Lucas Van Norstrand, class of 2021. Andy Jones graduated in 1995, class of 95. Nick Loomis, class of 2004. Grant Schreiber, class of 2021. Also, uh, today's uh, Pulteney team includes Gavin Morris, Gavin, class of 2017. Taylor Dunlap, class of 2019. And Heath Mason, class of 2020. So they got a lot of uh, basketball experience uh, here from Going back many years on the floor here today. Pulteney girls uh, earlier game defeated the uh, Fairhaven girls in the uh, women's edition of this contest. All right, so we have uh, the end of three quarters. Our score is 33, or 36 actually, to 33 at the end of uh, three quarters. Fourth and final quarter coming up. All right, fourth quarter is just about ready to get going here, and uh, we have a close ball game here. 
36 to 33. As we said, all a benefit uh, basketball game uh, here this afternoon. It's Fairhaven inbounding it. That's Ryan Manneville to Scotty Hattica to James Dunleavy inside. Good uh, movement of the ball right there. The Fairhaven guys take the lead by five now, 38 to 33. Pulteney playing a little catch up here. That one just got blocked. Shot was uh, put up, partially deflected. Ryan Provo getting a hand on that one, swatting that one away. Pulteney will keep it, though. They'll inbound here at the uh, baseline. Bunch of substitutions uh, coming into the ball game now for both of these teams with eight minutes left to go here in this uh, contest. Once again, we are at uh, Capman Court, the Devil's Den at Capman Court for this charity event here today. Good touch on that shot for Fairhaven. Ryan Provo on that for another three. All right, Jeff Ballard will be on the uh, Pulteney free throw line. Jeff's going to shoot a couple here with about seven and a half minutes left to go in the contest. Hey, All right, missed free throw. Justin Heyer right there to clean that one up, and uh, he'll pop it in for the two. Justin's the coach as well of this team and the boys varsity team. James Dunleavy showing some of his moves right there in the paint from yesteryear and drops it in for the two. 43-35. Fairhaven. John Simon's top of the Pulteney circle lets one uh, fly. Misses. Jesse Cahill got that rebound. Beautiful shot right there on that, Jesse Cahill. Hitting that bucket. And there's Coach Matt Cole on the other side, lighting one up from three-point range. Looks like Pulteney getting a whole bunch of subs ready to go in here. 
Kind of standing up here to the sideline. There's a Pulteney shot put up. John Simon's going to miss that one. All right, here they go. These are all the guys on the sideline. So five new players coming in. Heath Mason back in there, number 45. You see right there for Pulteney. All right, Levi Allen hitting one for three. Makes it a 49-38 ball game. for Fairhaven to shoot, class of 2005. Fairhaven High School got fouled. Go, go. And that's Levi Allen for Pulteney. He'll take that shot. Levi graduated 2021 here at Pulteney High School. Last Fairhaven shot hit underneath by Ryan Provo. That's John Simons uh, for Pulteney driving to the basket. John putting up the shot, got fouled. Class of 2000 once again. So that'll be 24 years out of uh, school here for John Simons. And do remember his uh, high school playing days here at Pulteney High School. And the other end of the floor, they work it inside to big James Dunleavy underneath. 
James off the glass for the two with about two and a half minutes left to go in our contest. Simons way out there. John Simons still got the touch. It's a three point bucket. 54-43 is our score. Last uh, couple of minutes of this basketball game. Wow. There's a nice touch there by Sam Eaton, class of 2016 for Fairhaven hitting that bucket. Well, a shot was uh, put up there and missed by Sam Eaton. Now Sam with it right there. Actually, another shot attempt, left-handed shot. Not gonna go, Pulteney Blue Devil rebound. Nick Loomis down the floor. Got a whole bunch of guys getting ready to go in standing in front of me there, but not able to see exactly. All right, now they're gonna clear out because they're all going in the ball game here. Nick Loomis took that last shot for Pulteney. Well, you got to congratulate each and every one of these players for putting their time and efforts in here this afternoon for this uh, good cause. Charity alumni basketball game at Capman Court. This will be our final minute of ball here. Underneath the Fairhaven basket, Jake Helm just hit that bucket. Here comes Levi Allen gonna put one up. Top of the circle miss. Fairhaven rebound. Ryan Provo with it. The last 25 seconds of this ball game. Fairhaven gonna take a shot. They're gonna get the win here. As we said, Jesse Kai Hill out on top. Just hanging on to the ball, working it around, and we'll have our final few seconds of this ball game. Shot attempt underneath there by Josh Taylor misses. Got a fair haven rebound, they kick it outside. Final basket will be by Alex Grimes. And the Fairhaven team's gonna beat the Pulteney alumni 62 to 43 in this benefit uh, game here this afternoon for Child First Organization. So congratulations to, to both teams as we see both teams lining up to shake hands and. Always a lot of fun to be a part of something like this. A lot of these guys uh, renewing old acquaintances here. and Always fun to come back and play with your fellow teammates and some that weren't your fellow teammates. And that will do it. So again, uh, congratulations to everybody participating in this event here this afternoon. And our final score, 62-43. Fairhaven defeating Pulteney at Capman Court in Pulteney. This game uh, today to benefit the Child First Center in uh, Rutland. I'm going to thank Deb Nichols too for her efforts putting this together. This is the basketball edition of this. There was a football edition back in the fall. This is the first annual event and they hope to continue this tradition. So glad to be a part of this here. This has been a presentation on Peg TV. Thank you for watching.